Hello, my beautiful friends. It's Marta here. Welcome back. Today, I want to invite you on a little experiment. I've decided to play a little bit with the Vaseline. I've never done it before, so I'm quite curious. Uh, well, I already know as I edit the video, but uh, when I will start playing with it, I didn't really know what to expect. And I'm absolutely blown away by the results. And I hope you will do it too. Uh, so stay tuned. And if you like, please don't forget to uh, hit the like button, to say hi in the comment. That will really help me out as a creator as well. Now, before I start, I have this piece of the cardstock, which is A4 size paper. I use some uh, Distress Oxide sprays uh, just to add some color and to make sure it's really dry. I also went uh, with my anti-static tool. Now, uh, for my first paper, I'm adding this Vaseline through the stencil. And here is my thought after the process. If I would do it back again, I would definitely put my Vaseline in the fridge for like a couple minutes, two, three minutes, just to cool it down. This one was lying on my desk and it's a very sunny day today. Uh, so uh, it was a little bit too melted uh, and it was just uh, too runny. But it would not really matter because this uh, technique, this effect is really, really organic and that will give you this nice uh, free hand effect uh, so you don't have to be super precise but it would be easier if the uh, my vaseline i was playing with would be a little bit thicker uh, now once i add it through the stencil i am sprinkling it with this wow embossing powder and as you can see here the vaseline bleed in two three places but it would not matter because once we start setting the powder uh, the magic will start uh, so i have my heat gun tool and once i am melting it uh, the vaseline is start moving and that's really give this nice organic look effect and i'm absolutely uh, fall in love with it and this will be working whether you have stencils or not uh, there's so many different things you can do it uh, and you can see here it just gave me this beautiful a uh, very nice effect which uh, which is really nice and something different something to try and play with uh, so as you can see here i am melting the uh, powder and once the vaseline is melting underneath it just helps the powder to move more freely so it's not gonna be very precise effect so uh, definitely you know something uh, if you if you like those loose uh, coloring loose effect that will be something you can try for the second piece what i did i grabbed a cotton bat and i'm just drawing some stripes and for this one i actually try to go as thin as possible so i didn't add uh, plenty of the vaseline just a little bit uh, just adding here and there trying to be a little bit more equal uh, but it doesn't have to be precise uh, as i've mentioned this will give you this nice organic look so you don't have to stress about being stray or something you can do so many other things you could do some dots or chevron or something or even like tear a paper and actually you know use a sponge or, or little finger dabber and then try to you know go over the uh, shape or something to create this nice effect so once i sprinkle uh, this powder it was uh, way less vaseline underneath and once i was uh, blowing it it wasn't moving as much as as i thought it would be so for the first one it was moving nicely like giving me this flow effect but for this one it actually just soaked straight into the paper so uh, i just had those stripes done uh, which i would do achieve the same effect if I would use my brush and or on uh, combat and then use like a glue or something or even like a um, embossing ink so it wasn't much difference here uh, but just to let you know that uh, the thin layer it really do, didn't do much it was just like uh, adhering the embossing powder to uh, to the paper so for my uh, third trial, I've decided to um, go a little bit uh, more and add a thicker layer of the 
vaseline so i'm using the finger and i'm just adding it here and there uh, just for a nice effect just something you know really uh, no rhyme and reason here just just playing and having fun so once i add my uh, vaseline i will sprinkle it with the embossing powder and then i'm gonna set the powder and one thing i want to tell you my friends this is by far my favorite effect here i really really enjoy it and this is just something i'm sure i will be coming back to it uh, more and more time and what i think it really likes uh, looking nice on the darker uh, background so for the next time i may try to use even like a more darker color tone uh, papers or or use the darker tone uh, distress oxide ink and here's the magic the as soon as the vaseline is melting you can see it's just start uh, you know blowing the uh, embossing powder and this almost reminds me the same effect which you can achieve with the upo paper and alcohol ink but alcohol inks are quite expensive not everyone is having the access uh, to it so it's definitely a way cheaper alternative to to try instead and that will give you so many good, uh, different techniques and effects you can uh, as i've mentioned the sky is the limit um, uh, you can do whatever you like you can add it with the brush you can add it through stencil or put some shape like a circular or heart in the center of the paper and then just like you know uh, use a little sponge to uh, to mark the shape so many different things you can you can do with it and because it's a little bit thicker uh, than what you would normally get with the uh, embossing ink that will give you a lot more uh, you know texture and also this free flow uh, element which you won't be able to achieve when using the um, embossing ink uh, uh, this uh, embossing ink pad or embossing ink rinker as well so the last trial and this is where i went overboard just to let you know my friends uh, because i really like the uh, number three paper i just did for the fourth one i really went this thick thick layer uh, but everything in life needs a balance so this one was definitely way too much and although i really like and enjoy how the uh, embossing powder was uh, you know running on the paper uh, I had a hard time to actually get rid of those Vaseline. In first three uh, examples, which you could see here, uh, this Vaseline was soaked by the paper. Eventually, I was hitting it and the paper was soaking it. But for this last piece, I actually add way too much. So my paper couldn't soak it all. And as a final result, it was still running. Like I heated up, uh, I was heating it over and over again and it was still running because this vaseline wasn't uh, soaking into the paper so i had to support myself with a little bit of the kitchen towel and i've just dumped it here and there just to take off this additional um, vaseline away from the paper so just to let you know you just have to try you just have to find the balance and use the right amount and here you can see how shiny it is because it was still wet from the vaseline uh, so here was my uh, idea i hope you enjoy this project i didn't manage to finish off those papers uh, as and turn them into the card because my husband is going to work shortly and my son is off the nursery today so uh, we're staying home and i don't have as much time uh, but i hope you enjoy it and uh, you could see on the final uh, like a close-up i will show you them i've put them down on the pieces of the on the white card basis so you could see how they turn out uh, but let me know if this is something you would like to try or maybe you tried it before and uh, what was your results definitely um, give me a shout which one of them was your favorite one i really like the stencil one and this is by far my the most love result uh, so uh, once again thank you so very much for watching thank you for supporting me and subscribing to my channel and i hope to see you shortly have a wonderful day everyone and bye bye